Welcome back to River Funsies. On this episode, I'm going to talk about a trip to the coast I took, which occurred about two weeks after the super sucky snowstorm in Texas. I was invited by my brother-in-law, so I packed up whatever groceries I still had left from the snowvid and headed on down to Port O'Connor. So first thing you want to do when you get there is, of course, look for bait. A lot of the bait stores are sold out if you don't hit them early in the morning or if the boat doesn't come in. So we went down to the jetty and see what we could catch. And we caught nothing. Fortunately, a member of our group had some leftover shrimp from a previous trip. So we were able to use that and then head out. So we didn't know what to expect uh, because the horrible snowstorm and, and cold weather had caused a fish kill but we were determined to catch some fish and to eat those fish um, and we didn't see you know large um, you know slicks of dead fish or the beaches really weren't covered with dead fish as you, you would uh, had, had imagined uh, from a big fish kill from the horrible weather um, but we did try to fish some deeper areas uh, that perhaps weren't as affected so badly by the cold weather uh, the fish may have been able to survive down in the mud or you know there's different things that people think or say about how fish can adjust to the real bad weather conditions so Port O'Connor is adjacent to Sea Drift and it's one of those small fishing towns uh, that's kind of become more popular as of late and it doesn't have the same nightlife as South Padre or Port Aransas. It's almost exclusively a f- fishing town. And there's a really badass gas station that has made to order breakfast tacos that are fantastic. You can find that on your own if you look hard enough. So. Once we got out to where we wanted to give it a try, the fish started biting. And these were caught on cut bait. And uh, this is a Victoria Barge Canal. We did find some luck here. And it's pretty deep, so turns out that was a good place for the fish to be. And the smart fish went hid there when the cold weather hit. Smile, man. What the fuck are you going to do? Probably didn't get too stressed. Because they were biting. Like and this is a black drum. Uh, uh, you know, they grow up to be really big. And when they get that to be the 30 and 40 inch uh, fish called Big Uglies, they get full of worms. A lot of people don't bother eating them. But keeper size, excellent fish. So we tried a few different areas in the Victoria Barge Canal. And there was a few cuts, uh, a few... Um, Look like uh, places yeah. where barges pull up to fill up with natural gas like or some sort of um, chemical. And obviously the dolphins paid us a visit. They want to ride your way. Uh, people like say they're good for fishing, no bad for fishing, you hear different things. Uh, Chicken shit. But by that time, we were already ramping it up to the day when they decided to pay us a visit. So no harm, no problem. Uh, then we decided to head back in and <laughs> it was an excellent day it wasn't very windy it wasn't very cold we didn't see the piles and piles of dead fish we assumed we would see being so bail. recent to the terrible freeze that occurred I've, I've learned pink one They hung out with us for a bit and didn't do anything too crazy. Just doing what dolphins do. Scare away the fish or bring them to you. It depends on who you ask.
So, after nearly freezing uh, a couple weeks ago, it was really good to get outside and to be on the coast checking out these super awesome sunsets and, uh, you know, got to take stock of all the fish we caught and what we would do to these fish to prepare them for dinner because we were feeling pretty proud of ourselves because despite all the odds of a fish kill not being able to catch any bait, we still caught fish and we were going to eat these fish. And no matter what anybody else said, we were going to enjoy them. So the first thing we did was with every fish we caught, we threw them back because we're not monsters. A fish kill just occurred, okay? There's restaurants to eat at. Look at that fish. Look at it. Look at the eyes on that fish. Can you believe the stress and torment that fish went through during the fish kill? You'll never know. But we did find an excellent place to to eat right next to the boat ramp. And saved us the trouble of cleaning the fish. And we got to sit back, eat some fried food, and watch the sun set. And know, deep down in our hearts, that we're not monsters. Those fish had been through enough. On the next video, we're going to go camping. Yay!